Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the supercharged CL175 build. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've filmed. Uh, in the last video, we did the fuel system and you can see I've changed it since then. Originally I had the pump and filter all in one little unit right here on the side of the bike. And I quickly realized when I went to try to put the throttle body on the bike that it was just taking up way too much space. So uh, off camera, I went ahead and redesigned the mounts and put the pump on the left side of the bike and remounted the filter there. So now I have all this room here to uh, put my throttle body. So what we're gonna do today is get our new intake made and get our throttle body mounted and a couple other little things. So over here, I have the throttle body that we're gonna use. So this is off of a CBR250R or a CBR300. They use the same throttle body. Um, it's off a Honda bike. I, I got it because it was pretty much the smallest package I could find for a throttle body. And it was just nice to stay with a, a Honda product if I could. So I've had to make a couple changes to this throttle body, but nothing drastic. Uh, the main thing was, since I'm not going to be using the injection fuel injection port on this. I just had to plug that up. I ended up just taking a bolt, cutting it down and JB welding it in place. And then, then on this side, this is the throttle position sensor. Um, I couldn't get the pigtail for this separately. I had to buy the entire wiring harness and I really didn't feel like doing that. So I ended up finding this plug, which is very, very close. Um, but I just had to make a little, a couple little changes on the sides here. I had to file down uh, a couple little grooves that were sticking up, and then I needed to add some JB weld and shape the top of this uh, nub so it actually engaged in the proper proper spot. But to me, that was worth not having to buy an entire harness just for that pigtail. So yeah, this is the throttle body we're going to be using, and the idea is for it to sit somewhere right about here, which ironically is exactly where I had the carburetor when we first had the carburetor on this side of the bike, um, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and make it again. So I've already gone ahead and taken off the old intake pipe we had on there for the carburetor that was sticking out this side, and I've started mocking up the new intake pipe. So I'm gonna continue doing that, and then we'll start fabricating. All right, I just finished up mocking up our intake pipe. You can see over here, it's kind of how the throttle body is sit. I just have it on a block right now to take the weight off the plastic pipe. So now we'll get it taken off. I'll bring it over to the bench and we'll figure out exactly uh, how to cut our aluminum pipe. Okay, so here's our pipe that we just mocked up. So now we just have to make it out of this aluminum. And once you do this, it's it's pretty easy. It's just kind of following the steps. You did the hard part here, in my opinion. So now, using this little jig, um, I can just cut it out with a hacksaw to the angles I need and, and stick it together. So each one of these pieces is 22 and a half degrees, these little pie cuts. So if this is one, two, three, four, five pieces at 22 and a half, so four would be 90, five would be 112 and a half. So we use this jig here to cut those angles out. And it probably, it'll make more sense when I start doing it. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this straight end, straight end off this pipe, and then we'll go ahead and cut our 112 degree angle. So this fixture essentially just holds the pipe in place. So you can see it just has the profile of the pipe. So what I do, so the first cut I need is just, I need to cut off this straight section right when it gets to 90 degrees. So 
So now that I have it in the fixture, I just want to make sure that I'm going to get a perfectly uh, perpendicular cut to the bend. So typically I use a digital angle finder <clears throat> and I set it on top of this block and just make sure it reads uh, or I zero it out with the bench and then I just make sure that it reads zero. But uh, my batteries are dead in it, so I'm just going to have to use this uh, digital angle gauge. So it's at 88 and a half. So I just have to adjust the block a little bit to get that to be 90. Once I do that, I'll lock it down and we'll throw it in the vise to cut it. Okay, so now that we have the flat, so this part will go into the flange, we need the 112 and a half degree bend. So now, how I do that is I'm just gonna put it back in the fixture. So this block is obviously 90 degrees to itself, so I want 22 and a half degrees of pipe sticking out to make this entire cut a 112 degree and a half cut. All right, so <clears throat> hopefully you can see that. So I have this set up as my zero. So it's reading this uh, larger angle here. So right now it's at 110.2. We want that to read 112 and a half. So I'll adjust that pipe until I can get that number and then I'll lock it down. So there's our first part of our pipe. So I'm just gonna continue doing that down the line until I have all my pieces made. All right, got all our pieces cut out. Time to start welding everything up. All right, so we finished up the in new intake pipe. While I was at it, I went ahead and welded in the bung for our intake air temp sensor and installed the sensor into our charge pipe. And while I have the blower off, I also took the intake off because I finally had phenolic or garolite spacers made for the intake to replace our aluminum ones. So it'll help mitigate the heat transfer from the head into the plenum. Just trying to keep the intake temperature down as much as possible so um, we'll get these taken off and we'll start piecing everything back together.
Got the throttle body installed. Got the throttle cables hooked up. I think this is the first time this bike has ever had its throttle hooked up since I started building it, so that's a big deal. <laughs> um, yeah, TPS sensors in. I didn't mention before, this is idle air control. Uh, the ECU I'm going to be using, I think I have to order a separate piece to use the IAC. So there is a, where is it? There's a grub screw down here that you can manually adjust idle. So I'll probably just use that for the time being. But I do have that if I need it in the future. Uh, I'll probably make a little bracket to go from the frame to this little tab just to hold the throttle body in place. But it is really solid for what it is now. So that was quick little project but yeah that's probably going to do it for this video i'm already starting to work on the follow-up video a lot of you already probably picked up on in this video that i've changed some things on the side of the bike you can see this pulley is no longer a v-belt pulley it is a cog drive so we are going to be switching over to a cog drive um, so i've designed a bunch of new parts they're sitting over here on the bench uh, spend like a two month design process trying to get that all sorted out, but I'll dive deeper into that in the next video, but appreciate y'all watching until next time. See you later.